me introduce myself and say a couple things. Um, my name is Varvara. That's like Barbara, but with V's. And um, I've been transitioning for about two years. Um, that road has been a road for me that manifests in different ways that I want it to as I go. I talked to people, I confided in my friends, I got support where I could. Um, and when they weren't around, I forgot about them. They didn't exist. And, uh, you know, just do things I like to do and, you know, like playing video games. These guys, they exercise every bone in my hand simultaneous. And for me, they are meditative and reflective. I just like to forget that I'm doing it sometimes. It's part of my holistic uh, approach to things. Um, back to the future. And I think this movie would be good, or any time travel movie that matter um, because the character would be traveling to the past or the future and confronting their past or future self and the struggles or triumphs of their transition. The ship of thesis paradox basically raises the question of whether an object which has had all its components parts replaced remains fundamentally the same. Big, similar to a uh, time travel movie, um, I think the young Trang's character, um, you know, trans boy or trans girl, very young and not fully aware of um, their gender yet, wishes to be big, and all of a sudden they are big, and uh, they're, th they're thrust into their, their new life and they have already transitioned. And so there will be external and internal struggles and reflections. So I think this movie would work well too. But again, trans time or trans limbo, something of that nature. Now, to me, trans time, trans limbo, is trans specific things that trans people must do that either side of the binary doesn't have to do. And these things um, take extra time. Um, they take extra time in your day in life that you could be putting towards other things that you need to do or want to do. Just like Uncle Buck, you could have um, a trans character who is estranged from the family. Hello, this is Varvara bringing you Tuesday's video. And this week, as you can see, it's something a bit different. Um, I didn't want to miss the opportunity to go out with my friends and so I took my trans time uh, making my video. I discussed what uh, trans time meant to me in my previous TSG video but so I decided to uh, make this video uh, while I was out with my friends. How do you as a trans person feel about this statement? 
the end of gender. Is it a positive statement or is it negative? They are reflecting on their trans identity at the same time while living many other identities in both genders. Confrontations and reflections about being trans. So, the fact that there is gender, male and female, I have the opportunity in this life to be myself, um, to choose who I am, when I know who I am, to go to that side and be myself if I wasn't on the right side to begin with. Um, time alone is, is good, you know, you're becoming yourself, you're going through a journey of transition, so alone time can be a great time to grow and a great time to do the things that you were excluded from. And eventually, we, you know, after all the struggling, we emerge. And we emerge as ourselves. After a lot of time and a lot of work and a lot of battling. So, unfortunately, this thing is always going to be there. And we're always going to have to deal with it on some level. Um, you know, because we cross the gender binary. We start from one side and we go to the other. And there's a, a myriad of experiences. Um, so, follow your own way. Stay true to your path. And uh, find comfort in yourself. And um, I think you will, you will do well. You know, and keep your trusted and close friends near and find people in the community. Uh, because through transition, this isn't something we, isn't something we can escape. We are going to be excluded. You know, it's a given. You know, so that's my thoughts on it. Um, you know, now I'm going to get back to the things I like to do, um, editing and whatnot, and making videos, and sometimes that's a solitary thing, and sometimes it's not, but either way, it's something I enjoy. So with that said, stay true to yourself. And until next time, bye-bye.